morning y'all this is david the georgia photographer and today what i've got is i've got the 55 millimeter f 1.8 this is the super tokamer but what i've done is i've mounted on like a sl2 and i'm going to shoot video with it i've been getting like lots of comments asking for video out of these vintage lenses as well as photos so I'm going to build a little montage or whatever B-roll sequence or whatever you call it and let you see what it can capture as a video lens. Now understand, I always believe that B-roll should support the story and shouldn't be a story unto itself. Some YouTubers like to use B-roll as a story and if you can tell a story with it, carry on. But I struggle to tell a story with B-roll, so that's why you don't see a lot of B-roll in my videos. That's what this is about to be, is a B-roll sequence that shows what this lens can do when used for video. compact it, it actually has good rendition this one doesn't have any of the haze or fungus issues that some of them some of them do you have to kind of be picky when you buy one but they're pretty cheap you can get these lenses on ebay for nothing in the grand scheme of things they're cheap and this is just a simple m42 thread mount adapter to Leica l mount adapter to get it on my camera simple simple now, of course these old lenses are all full frame because they're meant for 35 millimeter film. So that, that's another perk. It does have stepped apertures. So if you wanted to do aperture pulls, you'd have to de-click the aperture in it for video use. That's pretty easy to do because all you have to do is pull the back off, pull off the aperture ring, remove the detent plunger ball bearing. It's a little ball bearing with a spring. Take that spring out, put it back together. That way it's a de-clicked aperture. That's all you're really doing when you de-click one. This is all shot at F8, except the clip inside the Choo Choo Lobby where I was shooting into Frothy Monkey. It was shot at F4 because I needed some more light. 
but the rest of it has been F8, and I haven't needed to go to F1.8. I just wanted to get cinematic style footage. So in the clips where the background is blurry, it's because I'm focused really close to me, and the distance between the focused subject to the camera and the focused subject to the background creates that bokeh effect too. So as you can see, you don't really need big apertures to get cinematic looking footage. You just need to be able to employ your camera. There's some focus pulls in here. I tried to do focus pulls. And if, if I'd have been smart about it, I'd have, I'd have reference marked it or whatever, but I didn't. I just did the best I could because I'm out here on the fly with it just trying to get a clip or two. It actually does very well. And on a camera body with image stabilization on the sensor, it performs very well. This was all shot handheld except one clip maybe. All of it. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. Until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.